Ladies and gentlemen, here I have with me the Mojin smartphone. Say if you were to compare it to its predecessor, there are glaring differences. They have different features, brand new concept, and a whole different structure. Now, suppose we were to compare this with the modern education system. Compared to its predecessor a decade ago, or even a century ago, the similarities are striking. You can see that aside from a few procedural changes, they're quite literally the same. Ladies and gentlemen, education is not all about books. It is not all about exams. High school is a point in a student's life where they get to find brand new passions and dive into different sectors. Allow myself to introduce myself. My name is Joel Muliadi, and I'm the current co-founder and president of COMIP. COMIP stands for Karya, Karya Pelajar Mengabdi Bangsa, or in English, a student's impression of what it takes to serve a nation. Well, I have a proposition to make. The best way for a high school student to find new passions and test them out is to volunteer and help others. When we discover new passions, we need to be testing it, whether they are meaningful, whether they are fulfilling. By helping others through our passions is the best way for us to see if they're really worth it. Now, everyone has backgrounds, and so do I. Three years ago, in the summer of 2020, I was your typical high school student trying to find voluntary experiences in Bali. Back then, I was an aspiring marine biologist, interested in cleaning beaches, restoring coral reefs, and helping save the turtles. The thing is, there are age restrictions, and the allocated work time is three months. Everyone had to have a driver's license. Now you tell me, would a typical high school student be able to tick all of these boxes? Frankly, no. They say when life gives you problems, you learn from these problems. I would like to testify against this. In fact, problems are a pain. They're a waste of time. They're a waste of effort. And they unnecessarily test your will. Instead, the actions that you make in response to these problems are where you truly learn. When you adapt to life's redirections, you see the remaining few possibilities. From there, you're able to maximize these possibilities and make the best with your efforts. Well, COMIT was my solution. COMIT was my response. I knew after experiencing it firsthand, I saw the problem was the lack of structural voluntary work for high school students. I believe that in order to solve this, what was needed was a student-led, student-intended organization. And that's how COMIP came to be. Now, allow me to talk a bit about COMIP's ideologies. COMIP stands on four pillars of thought. One, first respondents mentality. Two, inclusivity. And three, care of change. Finally, there is sustainable innovation. When we talk about first respondents mentality, this reminds me of my very first lessons early on. When I first started in the voluntary sector, the very first lesson I learned was when an opportunity presents itself, you grab it by its throat and never let go. See, being a student pioneer, there are lots of restrictions, there are lots of limitations, but you do have a single advantage, and that is free time. A lot of adults can testify against this. They say that, oh, I have enough free time, but you could never beat the free time of a high schooler. And to this, as a high school pioneer, you need to be seeing the areas that are facing dire situations. From there, you need to be putting in your best effort to find a solution and find yourself out there helping out the people in need. I want to share a bit about Columbus testimonies Earlier this year, we had the chance to help earthquake victims in Tianzhou. After a week's notice, we were able to set up a student-led clinic under the provision of a doctor. After this expedition, we were able to help over 100 victims directly 
and over 300 victims indirectly. This brings me to my next point about inclusivity. Again, as I said before, student pioneers have a dilemma, and that dilemma is against limitations. If we're not in this together, then how are we supposed to face this dilemma? Because of this, as a victim of previous rejection, my leadership in Gomip is centered around accepting people who are willing to put in the effort to cause a change. Because of that, Gomip has now been focused in helping people who are mostly left unheard. Throughout the years, we've made the effort of helping and create a network of over 100 orphanages and schools rated C and below by the Indonesian government. Through this, we were able to make one of the best decisions as an organization, in my opinion. My next point is about caring for change. When high schoolers come to me and ask, how do I cause a change? How do I lead an initiative? I tell them that your first priority is to become an agent of change in your intentions and through your actions. When you prioritize the benefits of others besides your own initiatives, your own personal gain, your own credibility, you become more aware about the people around you. Through this, you're able to put in your maximum effort in helping the people around you. Throughout the years, we've had partnerships with a few student-led initiatives. One of our past partnerships was with a student-led organization whose task was mainly simple. That is to use the oversupply of corn waste and create a sustainable product out of it. Comet was able to help them create their very first workshop in the city of Dompu and Entebbe. There, they were able to teach local high schoolers about how to create sustainable paper products out of the corn waste. Now, they have created themselves a, a sustainable way of creating income. Finally, sustainable innovation. When we talk about student pioneers, they all need a support system. They need someone to back them up through highs and lows. Because early on, I also realized this. I realized that without someone backing me up, all of my initiatives will go to waste. Everything will be much, much more difficult. I realized that, my co-founder realized that, and so do all the members under COMIP. We believe that we have to face this concern face on, and we are united because of it. High schoolers are a point in a student's lifetime where they are able to find and try out new passions with little to no discrepancies. Because of that, imagine a support system existed. Imagine a whole entire generation of student advocates who are willing to raise their voices and who are willing to lead a change. Because of that, I stand by my case that students, student pioneers serving as one is the very best way to revolutionize the education system. Thank you.